Hello everybody, welcome to Argentina, Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are going to be checking out another airfield today, which is in Cholila, Cholila Lodge Aero Fishing, the airfield. I believe it's got ties with Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Now I've not been here before in Microsoft Flight Simulator, this was available in uh, X-Plane, I had it in X-Plane, but where the actual airfield is, is where the sun is coming down on the water. I can just make out the gap in between the trees, that's where we're heading, let's see if we can make our first landing here. Now I believe it is a standard airport, uh, or airfield in the game itself but it's been enhanced it's got some handcrafted airport scenery uh, parking spots better ground textures uh, and the more realistic look and feel let's see if we can actually get in here first time we're down and the lodge there's a lodge there on the right hand side let's hit the brakes So we're down. Right, let's spin around. Let's go back and look at that lodge. If you actually um, do a, uh, a Google search and look at the real airfield here, because this is a real life airfield, um, that lodge actually resembles the real lodge. It's, uh, it's really good, that is. But I think there may be a pond in front of uh, the real one. I'm not too sure if I noticed a pond in front of that lodge, but we will have a spin around and go check it out. If it hasn't, maybe this will get updated in the future to include the uh, the real vegetation around that lodge. But uh, can I spin around here? We'll go spin around. Anyway, this area has got some history with, with uh, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Uh, I believe he brought a ranch in 1901 in this area and he lived here until 1905 uh, to escape from the US after the big northern train robbery. So there's a little bit of history in this area, it's, uh, it's an interesting place to uh, fly around and uh, it's also quite nice, quite a nice area. But there's the lodge in real life, the real life lodge actually resembles that, that's, uh, that's quite good. The pond isn't there, but there's a little bit of uh, wetness, looks like, on the ground. Maybe that'll get updated uh, in the future. I'll have to keep an eye on this one, but let's see. Let's just see. Right, let's put the mixture up. That mixture should have been on full when I landed. I didn't do my landing checks, but full mixture now. Let's see if we can take off here. So put your seatbelt on. This is going to be awfully close if we can actually take off from, from here without using the full runway. This could go pear-shaped. There we go, chocks away! Oh, it just skimmed! We just skimmed them rocks. So we'll go have another look at it, uh, just in case I, uh, I missed a few things. Eyes to the left. It is actually quite a uh, quite a long airfield. That is. There's the lodge. There's a hangar, and there's another building behind the hangar. So I think what I will do is I will try and come in and land from the opposite direction. Let's give that a go. This could be interesting. There's the airfield. It looks very deceiving. It looks as though we're not going to actually fit down there. Right, let's stick it down. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Seatbelts on. Well, that went a lot better than what I thought it would. That was actually quite easy. 
Right, let's go right to the end. We'll turn around and we'll come all the way back up the runway and we'll have a good look. We'll have a good look around at this uh, at this airfield this time around. So let's go up to the top, spin around. So, like I mentioned earlier, this is already in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, the modder here has uh, handcrafted airport and scenery, uh, GA parking spots, 3D custom objects, better ground textures and vegetation, realistic look and feel, realistic night lighting around the hangars, and we've got we've got 1K, 2K, 4K uh, PBR textures and uh, reworked runway and reworked terrain. All you do is just drag and drop the file and put it in your community folder and uh, yeah, Bob's your uncle. So yes, it, it's well worth downloading uh, this upgrade, this mod and replacing the, uh, the standard textures, the standard airfield because um, it does enhance it an awful lot better. And it's a nice area to fly around. Let's let's go down the airfield. Let's uh, let's check it out. That lodge on the right hand side is very nicely done. Uh, little plane there on the left. The runway is actually quite wide. You can easily get this aircraft in here. Very easily. I expect possibly there may be future updates to this, especially around the lodge area. So it's well worth when you download it to actually uh, click the like button and follow it uh, for future updates. So we've got the hangar there, all nicely modelled and uh, detail on there. Now, I did notice when we flew over here, just down here, and it looks like there's quite a large turning area down here. We can get a much bigger plane in here. Quite a good turning area there. Just on the left here, let's just go up here and have a look here. There was some buildings up here. Let's just go see what this is like. There's a couple of buildings here as well, so yeah, that's the first loop. Well, it's not my first loop really, I mean, I, I landed here in X-Plane 11, but this is uh, Cholila, pronounce that right, <laughs> airfield, so yeah. Thanks for watching, uh, the link will be in the video description below.